Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, I'm with a car person's car person, Ken Nagel. Ken, good to see you. Good to see you. And Ken has a little collection of cars, and all of them have stories. Stories. They all got stories, right? They all got stories. So you're the perfect person for My Car Story. <laughs> Ken, what do we have on this one? Well, we got a 1960 Chrysler 300F. And uh, uh, to our knowledge right now, there's only 80 of these that are, are existing as of now. They made 248 of them to begin with, but we are down now to the registry shows about 80 that we know of. And this and one's got a special car, color. Yeah, this is Toreador Red. It's uh, how they got that, I don't know, but uh, that's exactly what's on the uh, color chart when you uh, look at it. It looks it's like pretty what? Color. Uh, it looks like a deep pink. It looks where pink. I was at. Yeah. That's where I was at. My wife would go, Lou, get out of the way. I'm exactly driving this one. Right. So come yeah. on right next yeah. to me. Okay. Oh, yeah, that one. Now there's only 85 left. Yep. There's, yeah. No, yes. That and we know of. You've had this since September of 2010. 2010, right. Uh huh. And I bought it at auction at RM in Auburn, Indiana. And uh, it just felt like that we did not have to do much with the car. Uh, all we had to do was uh, buff it really good and uh, detail the engine compartment out more. Again, the engine compartment rather unique because of the, the cross ram induction. We're going to show that in just a second. Sure. Speaking of unique, though, hit the mirrors just as you look at it from the front. We'll come on back and give this one an overall side shot. Let's go straight back. That is quite some tail fin. Yes. Goes all the way through the door. Right. Yeah. Now, Ken, have you seen any more 300 Fs? Uh, I have seen a, a couple. I was at a show a couple of weeks ago, and there were maybe another four or five there out of the 15 total letter cards that they had at the show. You don't see a lot of them, let me say that. And the interesting thing with this car, too, is you said you don't see a lot of them, is uh, uh, the F, the original 300, was because it was, uh, I think this is correct, somebody can correct me, and that's fine. I think it was the first 300 horsepower car. Okay. And that's what started the whole 300 series okay. in 1955, okay. and then it started to be a 300B. And it continued on. There was one one letter missing. I think it was I, yes, and it went I. through to L, yeah. and then stopped there. Now some people will say, "Well, there's a 300 M that came much later." That's fine. Look at that trunk. Don't they call that, this something? Is it, is it called a toilet ring or something? Or <laughs> well, what? It, yeah, it's it's uh, for show only. There's uh, no tire in there. I'm going to try to do that just to show people what that looks like. And these tail lights are Hot Rodder's dreams. Yes, they are. There, there are a lot of shows that are just featuring the thin cars. I know, uh, again, another concourse show next year uh, is going to just feature thin cars, and uh, this would be a natural for that show. Oh, yeah. This one's wonderful. Can we, it's, I see dual exhaust. Can we open yes, the trunk? Sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we've got the antenna. Even that sound with the springs. Mm -hmm. Look at the springs in the box there. We've got the cover. Here you were at the Corvette, Muscle Car and Corvette National. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest muscle car yes. shows on the planet. Maybe the greatest yeah, muscle car yeah. show on the planet. And then I wanted to show you this. Chrysler 300 weighs in for 1960. This period correct information. So I'm going to give you just, I'll let it kind of give you a second to pause. Why don't you take your time with that.
specifications. Wonderful. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Sure. Now the 300 was also known as a very classy ride. Yeah, exactly. And you're going to see that. I just want to show that design in the door. Get that badge right there. Let's see that trim color. You're doing. You have swivel seats as front swivel seats uh, on the car <laughs> and also this car has actually four bucket seats two in the back and two in the front which is unique a lot of them do. so you use this right here to do that yes uh -huh. it locks in right so it's, uh... and I'm noticing the placement inside the car that's part of the part of the part body of the out of the body, yeah, exactly. Let me take one step back. I'm going to show that. Wow, what a instrument cluster. <laughs> right. Holy cow, this has got to be one of the greatest of all time. You, you, you think you're in a airplane. What do they call this pod? Well, first of all, before I even go there, let me just show the door. And I'm going to get a little closer for you because you have kind of a metal feel here. Mm -hmm. Goes into the black and into this. And look at the. Let me see if I can get the contour there. I'm just going to do that. And even the all the angles in the door. Wow. So here's our four buckets. Mm -hmm. I see a light in the back. On both sides, a 300 emblem right there. Your ashtray, how that goes straight up the center. And again, let's take a look at what we're getting into here. I'm just curious, does Mrs. Nagel have an affection towards this car because of its color or? Um, Mrs. Nagel likes the 64 Impala. Oh, okay. 409 that I have because that was the year we started dating. It was 1964, so she's partial to that car. She's partial and to I that And I had one. a car like that in 1964. There you red go. Red on red. Red on red. We'll feature that one at another time. Exactly. Did they call this the pod or something like that? Yes, it you know it's very aeronautical kind of. Uh, uh, and I, it's it. it's obviously daylight, but at yeah. night it's something like it glows yeah, or something. Yeah, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's got to be tremendous. I would drive this car just at night just to see that. <laughs> So this is the tack way down in the center console. Well, this the, as a sidebar, the, this car is deceiving because it is a quick car uh, when you get it on the highway. It does have two four-barrel carburetors. It is a 413 cubic inch engine and 375 horsepower. Wow. So 375 has moved up a little. Let's take a look at the uh, interior. Or excuse me, the uh, under the hood. I'm dazzled by the interior. I don't even know where I'm going. Let's go back to the engine compartment. What I'm trying to say. Wow. And this is what they call the cross ram induction, which is a kind of a wow factor. You said exactly what I call this. This is my wow car. And the reason for it, people walk by this and all of a sudden they come back and say, wow, what is that? And that's what they call the wedge engine also. As I say, it's kind of the forerunner to the Hemi. Uh, but uh, this, the, this uh, contra contraption in here is just uh, awesome to, to many people. You just don't see that.
Let me just feature each one of these. I mean, the color, the engine, the interior. What an amazing car. This one gets the unbelievable award. As crazy as this car is, it continues to captivate the more you look at it. Yes, it does. Yes. You look at it and yeah. you go, that's a crazy car yeah, yeah, just yeah, because of the yeah. color. And then yeah. you get closer and you go, yeah, okay, yeah. that's crazy yeah. because of the interior. Yeah. And the complexity of it all, you just, it's not your normal. <laughs> and then you open the hood yeah. and you go, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's just everything. Yeah. Let's fire yeah. it up, shall we? Sure. Oh my goodness. Tremendous. Just a moment. Ken, can you step on the brakes for a moment? No. Well, if they are, I'm not close enough. Hold on. No, I don't think they are. Try the uh, try the headlights for a second. Yep, there we go. See a little in there. Those gotta look great at night. I just don't have the right angle. I think it's me, Ken, because I don't think I have the. Uh, it's too bright outside. Listen to that idle. Sounds great at a stoplight. All right, let's give it a rev, Ken. One more rev. I want to see the car shake. <laughs> that one gets the rev award, too. All right, we'll shut that down. This one gets the rev award. You're talking about some horsepower. It's actually pulling this one over. Holy cow. That's... Dramatic. Ken, another wow car. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, they can see all the cars. Always a treat coming out, Ken. Thanks so much. Real pleasure. Appreciate you being on my car story. You're welcome. Glad Thank to be a part of it. Thank you.